Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I'm with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. Robin, how's it going today? Great. How about you? Uh, you know, I'm a little... I'm a little down because we're, we're talking about a very serious subject today. We are. We are. But it's an important one. It is. So, you know, hopefully, you know, we're going to share this video, get this out to as many people as possible because today we're talking about heart disease. And as you, as Dr. Rogers has, have told me before, it's the number one cause of death in America today. It is. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to yeah. talk about heart disease. Heart disease. And what can we do about it? Yes. Um, so one in every four deaths right now is related to heart disease. Um, so like you said, number one cause of death in the United States and worldwide, really. So why? Yeah. What are we getting into? How do we help this? What are some underlying causes? Because as you know, in functional medicine, everything's about finding the underlying cause. So traditionally, we think high cholesterol is the reason. You have high cholesterol, it, it's going to cause heart disease, so you need to be put on a statin medication, and then that fixes it. Um, we've already done a podcast about cholesterol. Reference back to that. It'll be linked in where I talk a little bit more about that. But 75% of all heart attacks, those people actually had normal cholesterol levels. It had nothing to do with cholesterol. Statin would not have and did not do anything for them. That's a staggering number. I know, 70, right? 75% is, is wild. Yeah, because it's just commonly held, hey, it's my cholesterol levels. Right. Um, the bigger underlying cause, and I mean, we talk about this as an underlying cause for just about everything out there, inflammation. Inflammation is one of the leading underlying causes for heart disease. Lots of reasons for inflammation. Um, diet definitely has a lot to do with it. The traditional American diet is very high carb, high sugar, um, unhealthy fats, you know, the processed foods, uh, lots of chemicals in our foods. All of that's going into the body, causing inflammation, causing damage within the arteries. Can I ask, you know, when you said that, my, my first thought was like, am, how do I know if I'm inflamed? Labs. So labs is how yeah. we know how we yeah. are, if we're inflamed. I mean, people feel it. You okay. feel it. You know, that joint okay. pain, that puffiness, that achiness, brain fog, just not feeling on top of your game. Okay. All of that can be inflammation based. Okay. So um, you can feel it. You can feel it. And, and, and labs put like a, put confirmation labs on it. Labs show it. Yeah. Okay. Labs okay. show it. Interesting. Um, so other things that can cause inflammation, insulin resistance. Again, labs are going to show that. We've talked about insulin resistance before. It's what leads to diabetes. Um, our obesity rates are sky high. Diabetes rates, sky high. Um, all of that's causing inflammation, which is leading to more heart disease. So if you have insulin resistance, you're inflamed. Yes. If you have diabetes, you're inflamed. Yeah. If you're overweight, you're inflamed. You're most likely inflamed. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Inflammation is an underlying cause on a lot of things. Um, so addressing the inflammation and the injury that's happening in the arteries is a better way to go about helping prevent heart disease than just throwing on a medication. Okay. So I realize I'm inflamed. Mm -hmm. I, I, I understand how, um, how heart disease is the number one cause of death in, in yeah. the United States. What can I do? You know, how do I address inflammation? So we want to start with some different tests because I'm not saying that there's not people out there that need statins or other medications. There, there are situations where that may be needed. Um, in general, people who have already had a heart attack are more likely to get benefit from medications like that. Okay. Um, so there's situations where even we use that, but that's definitely not our go-to. Our go-to is figure out what's happening to begin with. Um, so like I said, there's better tests out there. Your traditional lipid panel doesn't give us the best idea of what's truly going on. Okay. Um, we need to see a full lipid analysis, a full breakdown. So the test that we do, the um, Cleveland Heart Panel, is going to show us that. That gets us down to the lipoproteins. It gets us down to the size of your cholesterol. Um, you know, small LDL is not as good as big. It gives us a full breakdown of everything. Mm -hmm. um, through Quest, there's one called Cardio IQ. Lab core, it's called NMR. Okay. So there's different availabilities of that test, but that goes far beyond just your standard lipid panel. You know, you go to your PCP, they're like, hey, your total cholesterol is 250. Uh, you need to go on a diet and I'm going to put you on a statin. 
that doesn't give us the full picture. And normally at all. it's a low fat diet. Yeah. Which w- w- yeah. we'll have to do something. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and it's not, it, that's the thing. It's not fats that's causing this. We always, uh, you know, you've got your bad fats. We need to avoid that. But it's the carbs and the sugars that's really driving a lot of the inflammation that happens and a lot of the underlying issues. So that's a lot of the root cause is you know, we're eating too many carbs, Mm -hmm. you know, we're Mm -hmm. uh, eating too many processed foods, too much sugar. Yeah, absolutely. Fascinating. I always tell people shop the rim of the grocery store. Okay. Um, Or another way I tell is if you theoretically could kill it or grow it, then you can eat it. Now, am I going to be able to go out and like kill a cow to make my burger? No, but that's going back kind of to the caveman type diet, paleo type way of eating. You just get more natural. Um, You're not eating out of packages, so you're avoiding a lot of those chemicals that go into things. So say I'm concerned about heart disease. I come in and see you. You know, what are some things, you know, you mentioned the Cleveland Heart Panel. What are some other things that you're going to kind of, a process you're going to put me through? So I want to try to find the cause of the inflammation, of course. So I'm going to look at fasting insulin levels, A1C, things like that, to see if it's an insulin picture. Okay. Uh, The full lipid analysis, looking at ratios within the lipid analysis, like your triglycerides to HDL ratio, things like that are really important. Um, A CRP. Uh, or HSCRP is the one I prefer. So that's a high sensitivity C-reactive protein. Okay. That is released um, from inflammation. Um, Homocysteine levels. So that has to do with the processing of B vitamins, but elevated homocysteine levels is increased risk for cardiovascular disease. Um, Looking again through your lipid panel, APOA, APOB, um, LPA, things like that, that come on our Cleveland. Looking at all of that, ratios of everything to each other. Um, if we have high concerns, we can look at a fibrinogen level, which has to do with clotting. If we've got really sticky blood, we're more concerned about heart attack possibilities. Um, and then getting uh, an ultrasound, it's called a CIMT, and it's an ultrasound of the arteries in the neck to see if we have thickening there. And then also a CT calcium score that's looking, we've talked about that before, but looking yeah. at calcifications in and around the arteries. Um, it's a much more complex workup, and it can well, that's seem thorough. yeah, it can seem a little <laughs> overwhelming to people. But that's really going to give us a better idea of do we just have a little inflammation that's pushing your cholesterol up a little bit, or do we have serious risk factors here? That's so. Do you think that you know if if people if they are overweight or if they know they're insulin resistant? You know, should they go ahead and get some, some like a thorough workup like that? Yeah. And, and that way, as a starter to get to the root cause? Absolutely. Okay. It gives us a baseline, too, to work off of. Um, yeah. But yes, absolutely. Um, any any obesity, any insulin resistance, diabetes. I mean, you know, I have patients that are kind of like, meh, about their diabetes. Like, everybody in the family has it. I'm going to take my metformin and just kind of do my thing, live my life. They don't really change anything. Um, and it is harder. I mean, addressing heart disease in this way, addressing anything from a root cause standpoint, it's the harder way to do it. And slower. And slower, but it's the way that works. It's the more effective way of doing it. So it does push a lot back onto the patient. You have to change your lifestyle. You have to get away from the chemicals and pesticides. You have to exercise more. You know, you have, you have to do things. You have to be involved in your health. This is not a pill for your ill kind of thing. Um, but it's what keeps people healthy, slows aging, and, you know, prevents long-term issues. Now, I know there's there's one person, two persons, two persons, <laughs> two people. There's people out there who have watched this video mm-hmm. and said, hey, I don't want to mess around with that. I yeah. want to make the change today. It, what's the message to that person? What, what is something? Is it just low carb, go low carb, uh, like you said, get rid of pesticides. Any yeah. any ending message uh, to that person? You know, starting with diet is a huge way to start to improve things. Um, obviously, get in and get a workup. If you can't yeah. get to us, ask your primary care for these types of labs. If, or if they can't do them, find somebody who will. Um, you know, some, some providers just aren't familiar with working things up in this way. But yes, absolutely. Diet is a huge change, um, makes massive differences. It's one of the hardest changes for people to yeah. make, in all honesty. Um, yeah, bringing the, carb, the carbs down. If you're going to do carbs, more of the complex. Uh, we've got a video that we did about carbohydrates, reference back to that. I talk 
about it a little bit, but we want to do everything that we can to bring that inflammation down. Yep. Uh, sugar is one of the most inflammatory things out there. Carbs break down into sugar. So yep. bringing the carbs down, push the protein and healthy fats up, get some exercise, eat organic as much as possible, eat natural as much as possible. Yeah. Really start taking care of yourself. Robin? You've explained heart disease for us. <laughs> we really appreciate that. Guys, uh, we're going to link in the description below the video with Robin on the Cleveland Heart Panel. We'll also link the, the low-carb uh, video as well so you guys can dive into both of those uh, for those who want to uh, take action now. We certainly appreciate you guys hanging out with us today. This has been Explain This. I'm with Robin Riddle, and I'm your host, Ben Rogers. We'll see you guys next time. Don't go away.